show all time by the way. We also have the 3200 meter outright record of 947 held by Caitlin Tui, the superstar out in NC State. Bree Oakley owns the outdoor best time at the two mile distance, 9135. That's six best all time across two miles. But Cook really is the one to watch. Natalie Cook hit number nine all the way on the outside. She is going to take this all the way to the front. She has the ribbon in her hair. She's the one already taking control of this race. Natalie Cook is already off to a great start. And Corey, you've already mentioned she ran a 9.52 earlier this year. That is number eight all time in history. So this is a woman who has her mindset on the national record overall, and we're already off to a quick start. Yeah, like any great season, Natalie Cook has had an array of a big time elite performances. This year alone, she's broken the 5K national record out in California. Uh, she also has of 1525, and, and indoors she broke four by mile record along with her team uh, at New Balance Nationals indoor. Uh, so she's got two national records to her name. I mean, she's a girl that just keeps winning and winning and winning. She has 15 wins across cross country and track and field across her 21 and 22, 22 seasons already and 69 seconds through the first lap here for Cook. As I mentioned, off to a very quick start, and Cook is used to running by herself. So she already knows what she needs to do. She already knows the split she has to hit. It's just executing the, literally the most perfect race you can put right. together here, and I think she's capable of doing so. So what exactly do we need for her to break the overall two-mile converted record? Uh, somewhere between 446, I believe, in that first half of the race. 446, 447 for Natalie Cook. Um, in order for her to sort of be on pace, at least, to go toward it. Now, you know, even if she runs 942, I still think that's an overwhelming success here. Um, that breaks the other two records, two E's and opens. But, um, you know, if you're, if you're wondering, well, what makes you believe that she even can do this? Well, uh, last week or two weeks ago, May 4th, her, her coach and her dad, Andrew Cook, tweeted out um, that she was getting ready for state and she did a four by 1600 meter workout with a one minute standing rest, 503, 457, 458. So I think she has the fitness here and she definitely has the strength. 223 for 800 meters. And even just to attest to that, her personal best in the 1600 meters is a 436. So we're, we're nearly asking her to get 10 seconds off her personal best to be on track for that record. And the, the beauty of her, I think, in, in her, in her athletic career is that she's so clearly, this season alone has been incredibly consistent. I mean, we both saw her out in San Diego, uh, East Bay cross country champion. We saw her in Alabama when she won the bike lane at the cross country championships. She's the only girl to won those two national titles uh, in history. And, you know, that just began her, her season, that wonderful, illustrious season. But the consistency is the thing that continually stands out over the last few months. So our eyes are out on Cook. We also have Samantha Humphreys in this field. We have a pack of four just doing their best to go for personal best. Fox is also in there. Uh, Leal is also in there. But this is Cook's race from start to finish here. Those are, I'm glad you mentioned that. Those are the secondary storylines here for, for me. Um, Alex uh, Fox, Alexander Fox, 1030 at regionals. Samantha Humphreys, 1028 at regionals. Samantha Humphreys also runs the second best Texas time in 1600 meter, 444. Flower Mound is developing into a, a distance powerhouse, not just in Texas, but outside of the two. These girls are freshmen and sophomores, and they look like they're on pace here to go second and third behind Cook to me. So here we have Cook out there doing her thing. Just like anticipating these last 250 meters to see what her 1600 meter split is. Yeah. As we wait and we're watching, we are national record watch at this moment here at the UIL Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Natalie Cook from Flower Mound, also the Oklahoma State University signee as well. She's looking forward to that. So she's going to be continuing her athletic and academic career in Oklahoma. Yeah, it does look right now that she is pretty on pace, maybe a little bit behind, potentially, and, and here's where, you know, 
laps five and six are particularly hard, I think, because those are the ones, you know, in high schoolers' minds, they come back just a bit. 450 at the break for Natalie Cook. So 450 there. Just a few seconds off, but I'm not too alarmed quite yet. Yeah, well, that's 940 pace. I mean, yeah. Looking at this, someone like of her caliber, does she negative split the, the, the last four laps here? She definitely has 800 meter speed. Meanwhile, Humphreys and Fox uh, clearly and comfortably in second and third. And then we have a third pack emerging here between four girls. Yeah, Natalie Cook group of two and a group of four, and then the rest of the field. And C Cook is literally just running away with this. Over a 100 meter lead on the rest of this field. She's only run one open 800 over her 20, 22 season. That was a 212 uh, from March at the Cap Capel Relays. I mean, she does have speed, as you mentioned, that 436 is an indicator of that. So, Corey, as we're getting her splits coming in, she has been very consistent. 113, 113, 113, 114 on that last lap. So, still very consistent with, in having even splits. Absolutely. That's the one, the fifth lap, a little bit hard, came back just slightly. I think, you know, that when you're in this zone, your mode, you're likely, if you need some coaching or you need some kind of reinforcement, you probably have your dad, your coach, somewhere that you can see him, mm -hmm. listen to him, probably yelling out um, sometimes and, and marks for her. So I'm sure that she's getting some see, affirmation here on the track. So. And I think uh, what the, the Another, the, the secondary storyline, as we said, the Fox and Humphreys could be in line for a really fantastic, you know, low tens type of performance here uh, for Flower Mound. Yeah, Flower Mound has the top three places at this very moment, scoring some big time points in just one event. And that's just to showcase the, the depth that this team has when it comes to the distance events. Natalie Cook, two laps to go. Going through the line at 7.19. We're about 75, 76 seconds there. So th these were the hardest laps for her. I think she's got to really, now 800 meters left. You got to start going. You got to start ticking it off just a bit here. We've, we, we know Texas, it's not easy, you know, putting down these record times in Texas. I mean, Bryn Brown did a phenomenal job last year and, and ran 9.58, but it definitely gets harder as the last tick down. 600 meters to go for Natalie Cook, and she has about a 150-meter lead on the rest of the field. And she's just trying to close in as we keep our eyes out for these records looking to potentially fall this morning. This is an all-time great high school athlete on the road toward a really elite performance. She's close to 250 meters ahead of the next best girl who's gonna run a phenomenal time. That's how good Natalie Cook has been. All right, Corey, we are on the Bell Lab 8.35, and it, it's just, you're leaving it out on the track right now. Yeah, all heart, all guts here for Natalie Cook, full send toward the finish line. Starts winding it up here with 300 meters to go. Natalie's probably telling herself, just keep going, just keep going. At 200 meters left, 9.12 is on the clock for Natalie Cook. And Humphreys now 9.08 through 2,800 meters, Alexandra Fox, 914. And this is the final turn for Natalie Cook and just a straight away to go, 934. Oh, it's gonna be close for Caitlin Cooley's record, I will say that. It is gonna be that. very close. 
And Cook, can she get sub 947 here? It's going to be so close. Ooh. Wow. 948 unofficially for Natalie Cook there. from the Texan grabbing a new Texas State meet record, a 6A record, 9.25. And really prepped the entire process, worked extremely hard, and obviously she went for it. She did. She did. 9.48, as you mentioned, Corey, that puts her all the way up to number two all time right behind Caitlin Tui's 9.47.88 back in 2018. Humphreys gave everything for Fox, I should say. Fox's effort put everything on the track there for Flower Mound. Humphreys finished second there, 10 23 68, and Flower Mound will sweep this 1 2 3 with Fox finishing third with a 10 36 48. And then we have Hoots that will grab fourth. 1048-84, Leal 1051-71, and then Peters 1058-91, all breaking 11 minutes in this 3200 meters. Cook, it was the Cook show. She was cooking it up this morning, I must say. Way to kick it off. You can see Flower Mound also on the track. All three of the girls just hugging it out. That's impressive. One, two, three there. Yeah, and we'll see if Flower Mound can kind of put down some points on the distance side of things. Maybe we're gonna stay tight on six eight out of distance. That'd looks be like, very impressive. Looks like we're teeing up a, a replay here in the next couple of moments here as we look at Natalie Cook on the, the road to 948. Gosh, man, that was an incredible, and fist bump at the end. That was a, yes, job well done. Job well done. She, hey, she's got the 1600 meter coming up too. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's gonna be the Cook show. <laughs> 